Hello and welcome back to Games with James, where I am working my way through Kingdom Hearts 1, my childhood favourite, and I'm going to relive all of it for you. To start off, I have a bit of a confession. I've already worked my way through um, Olympus Colosseum and Deep Jungle, but unfortunately, because of audio mixing problems, I am not able to... Um, upload the footage because all of the game footage is doubled and it sounds awful and unfortunately the way I'm recording at the moment there's no way to isolate my commentary from the game audio so we're just gonna carry on I am sorry some highlights where I managed to beat the stealth sneak so the Tarzan heartless in one go I have cure now which is great which lets me trade a bar of MP, so one of those blue segments for some health, which is going to come in clutch and increase my longevity during battles. Um, I managed to beat Cerberus after a few, a few attempts. I think it was three, so the same as guard armor. And yeah, overall we got through Deep Jungle without too much of a hitch. I got this brand spanking new Keyblade, and we discussed the kind of what a shame it was that the Tarzan world never appeared again in Kingdom Hearts because it had some good character development for Sora, Donald and Goofy as a trio. Unfortunately that footage is going to be lost to time so let's carry on. So we found another Navi gummy. It popped out of the keyhole at the end of the Tarzan world and we have come back to Traverse Town to show it to Leon and he might have some ideas about what to do with it. So we've just arrived back at Traverse Town. We have 727 money thanks to some Monkey Heartless from the Deep Jungle area. So let's see now. It looks like Sid hasn't, hasn't restocked, which is a bit of a shame, but not the end of the world. So we are going to have a look at our equipment. I got this new Keyblade which has a long reach but seldom deals critical blows. Two more strength than the Kingdom Key and the same amount of MP. So we're going to be keeping that on until we find a better Keyblade. And then we got a White Fang from Sabor, the tiger in Tarzan's world, and a Proterra Chain as well. I did manage to get, or I have had the Brave Warrior for quite a while, but I'm trying to, hmm, you know what, I might actually replace the Proterra Chain with the Brave Warrior and then give Donald the Proterra Chain just to give him that bit more longevity than I do because I think the extra defense that we get from the Proterra Chain sort of balances out with the extra 3 HP we get from the Brave Warrior. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is just carry on keep on trucking on like we have been. So we also have a new Trinity color. So if you've been paying attention or if you've played Kingdom Hearts before, you know that when you start the game and you meet Donald and Goofy for the first time, you unlock the blue Trinity. But after beating Tarzan's world, which is the third after Wonderland, which is Alice in Wonderland, and Olympus Colosseum, which is Hercules. After you beat Deep Jungle, which is Tarzan's world, you get access to the Red Trinity. So the Blue Trinity is a jump, and the Red Trinity... As you can see, they just ram into the wall. So this gives us access to some more puppies. We haven't actually been to see the Dalmatian's house yet, so let's go and do that on our way to the second district to go and see Leon. Magic has become extremely powerful, as has thanks to a few boosts in strength from the Keyblade and our accessories, our strength. So, Heartless are a little bit easier to dispatch now, which is a good thing. So there is much less of a chance of us being obliterated by random Heartless in the second district. Ha! Come on! Ah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
there we have it. There we have it, folks. I managed to get Sonic Blade from Cloud last episode. Um, I'm going to unequip the treasure magnet and equip Scan, which is one of the best abilities in the game. It lets you see how much health an enemy has remaining. So if you can look at the top left corner of the screen, you can see how much health an enemy has left. That's going to help us gauge how far along we are in boss fights. And judge how best to use our items, and it just, it just gives us a better sense of where we are overall and in the, the grand scheme of the fight. You know, knowing whether or not to risk an extra few hits, or whether to play it safe and go to a new room. We're just going to keep on firing on here. And then, so a lot of the, the game becomes balanced around trying to get in as much hits as you can and balancing your use of the MP gauge and cure just to try and keep yourself in the fight. Let's see now if we've unlocked any awards. There are 33 chests that contain three puppies each in the game, and after certain thresholds, once you visit this building in the second district of Traverse Town, you unlock some awards. Ah, oh, isn't that just cute? Let's see now. Gummy, not the best. And that's it. So we'll have to keep an eye out for more chests as we traverse through the worlds. I'm a bit disappointed now that that was just a, a Kiraga gummy. And the Red Trinity lets us access this little alleyway in the side streets of Traverse Town. And here we find Young Leon and Aerith. But mostly lean on. So this is some key Kingdom Hearts lore. So if the Heartless managed to reach the inner core of a world, so that's each of these planets these Disney movies is a world and if the Heartless manage to reach the core of those worlds they, they disappear they, they fall to darkness like Destiny Islands did and what Sora's done in both Alice in Wonderland's world and Tarzan's world is he's sealed the only way the Heartless can reach the core of these worlds by sealing the keyhole and that's what Leon's telling us here So that gives us something to do, um, and sealing the keyhole in each world is... It generally happens at the end of the story. Um, some worlds have to go... There are one or two I can think of that their keyholes are a little bit out of the way, and not directly tied to the story, but in general that becomes the MacGuffin that we chase. Is sealing, sealing the keyholes in these worlds as we look for Riku, Kairi and King Nikki. And that's what keeps us going through the game. <laughs> so, Leon gives us a rock. Earth Shine. We 
which gives us access to the next combat mechanic of the game. If you run up here, it's a secret passage to Merlin's study that we unlocked in the second episode. And if we talk to the fairy godmother, no, oh, not yet. Mm. Oh, I think I'm sequence breaking here. There's one thing we need to do first. How are we doing level-wise? 169, not bad, not bad. While we are passing, I'm gonna duck into the item shop. And we are going to pick up Donald and Goofy's. Let's see. We don't want this because magic power in this game is determined by how much MP or how many of those blue segments a character has. So our magic is stronger now that we have four when we used to have three. So reducing Donald's max MP seems like a bad idea. So I'm going to pick up the Morning Star. But there is no downside to getting Goofy's weapon. So I'll give Donald that. I don't know how much use it'll be, but an upgrade's an upgrade. Okay, so the stats on this are the same, but I think this will allow Goofy to block more different kinds of attacks, like um, projectiles and things like that that fly his way. So here's Sid. Ah, so classic RPG fetch quest. So we deliver the book. And at the same time he asks us to do that, shit starts going down. So now we have two things to do. We have to go check out that noise and deliver the book. So the first thing we're going to do is deliver this book. Because at least we know the direction we're going. Fire on here. <laughs> no pun intended. And deliver this book. Ha! Even the sound design in this game is so good. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but um, Sora echoes because he's in a cave. Ha! So his attacks actually echo a bit more than they normally would. That's something I never noticed. Now... And the infamous Merlin's book. Yes, got a bit ahead of myself, but what Leon gave us, the earth shine, the precious stone, is a summon gem. So what this will do is it'll let us summon a Disney character to fight with us for a certain amount of time. And the first one you get is Simba. Yep, there he is. 
So in the original game, um, you had to go into the magic menu and then scroll down to the bottom and the summon option was there, but in the re-release they've given it its own spot on the command menu because the bottom command used to be what triangle is now. Let's examine the book while we're here. the first world within a world in Kingdom Hearts. And it's the relaxing Winnie the Pooh. Not my favourite world in the series. Think, 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 think. But definitely has enough charm to make it worth it. Hi there. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just thinking. Oh. I was thinking of how to say goodbye to Pooh. Pooh? Yes. Wait a second. You're Pooh? Yes, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. Who are you? I'm Sora. Oh, hello, Sora. Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? Well, no. Why would I do that? We've only just met. Because everyone's gone away. What do you mean? Well, we all left here in the Hundred Acre Wood. And we'd take walks together. Or play poo sticks. And every day, I'd eat some honey. Oh, just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. But now, everyone is gone. All my friends... And my favorite honey tree, too. Everyone must have gone away while I was napping, I think. Ah, uh, poor Pooh. So, who knows? Maybe I shall end up going away somewhere as well. But I wonder, how do I say goodbye to myself? Think, think, think. Oh, my tumbly is getting rather rumbly. <laughs> Sora has no idea what to make of this. Definitely one of the more creative worlds in the first game. Definitely has its charm. The picture book aesthetic. Even, um, like the, con the concept of violence doesn't exist in this world, um... As you can see in the bottom left corner, our attack command has changed to hit. Because you don't attack things when you're here. No, you, you, you hit them. But you don't attack them. So an odd sign hangs above this house's door. Take a look. Ah, and it's Pooh's house. Magic. Fire! The opposite of what I wanted to do. Ha! Not that I think it does anything, but. Huh. Huh. You know what? It's wholesome. And that's what's important. There's Owl. He always acts like he knows a bit more than he lets on. If only the honey tree would visit, oh, then I could eat my fill. <laughs> elixir, not bad. An elixir though is not bad. I think with cure, we should really focus on just using items that help to restore our MP. 
because we can always restore our HP by trading in some MP. And thus begins one of the longer fetch quests. And the pages to help unlock all the different cloudy areas of this map are scattered across the game. And we'll find them as we continue on. But unfortunately that's that's it for Winnie the Pooh for the moment. So our next stop is the second district to have a look at the bell tower on top of the gizmo shop where Sid told us to look after that noise startled everyone. you are. What's going on? Riku! <laughs> hey, hey, cut it out! Oh, this game's so goofy. I'm not dreaming this time. Right? I hope not. It took forever to find you. Riku! Wait a second, where's Kairi? Isn't she with you? Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island, too. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this... <laughs> leave it to who? Sora, uh, what did you... I've been looking for you, and Kyrie too, with their help. Who are they? <laughs> we visited so many places <laughs> in the world, looking for you. Really? <laughs> Take well, what that, do you Donald. Know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? Sora is the Keyblade Master. Who was that? What's that mean? So, this Still is called a keyblade? Huh? Hey, give it back! Catch. Whoa. Okay, so you're coming with us, right? We've got this awesome rocket. Wait till you see it! No! He can't come! What? Forget it! Oh, come on! He's my friend! I don't care. Oh, he's gone. Oh. Riku? Nice going. <laughs> yeah, oh, fuck well. you, Donald. At least he's okay. And who knows? Maybe we'll run into Kyrie soon, too. Ugh, scaring away Riku like that. Fuck you, Donald. You know, if that scene had gone a little differently, the whole series would have taken a different turn, but it is the way it is. Now, I don't think they're just going to tell me to go sort out that noise. Oh. Maleficent. You see, it's just as I told you. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new companions. Evidently, she is now he values them far more than he does you. It's pouring lies right into his ear. You're better off without that wretched boy. Now think no more of him and come with me. I'll help you find what you're searching for. Okay, in, in fairness, Rick is very easily manipulated.
climb up here onto the roof of the shop. And we'll see that these boxes have moved from the last time we were up here. Revealing a light ruby, which handily we will not have access to. We've dispatched those. 51 likes to the next level. You know what? I'm gonna grind that out before I... I think I can safely do this before triggering anything. And then Aerith's after saying something's gonna happen after we pull about three times. So before we do that, let's just grind out a little bit more experience. See ya. Okay, max HP up. Okay, and we're back up on the roof. Yeah. So Aerith said ring the bell three times. So that's what we're gonna do. Here's our old friend. It doesn't take three times to beat you this time. Something tells me that. That's a great thing to see. How much health an enemy has left. And for the boss of this world. It's not guard armor. It's reverse armor. Much tougher. So much tougher it warrants a new soundtrack. Thunder! It's again. We have gotten a lot stronger since we fought off. Thunder! It's just to keep up our health. Don't be caught with your health and your magic. Also, it's sort of AoE down there. The body parts. Magic, so he's trying to the lights. Come on! Come on! Come on! Another part ten. Come on. Oh, we should get the thunder. 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 Come on. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. Arrow. 
a defensive spell in this game, and one of the best. It's going to allow us to carry on to the next world. So, I think I've been finding Blizzard just slightly better than Thunder. So what I'm going to do is swap out that for Arrow. And what that, this spell does is you can cast it on yourself or any member of your party. And it creates a barrier that lasts a certain amount of time and blocks some damage from some attacks. And then as you level up, um, the spell, the barrier starts to deal damage to Heartless. It's It does, again later on in the game, it pretty much becomes balancing, having arrow up all the time. Making sure you have magic for cure if you get hit. And then trying your best. <laughs> and I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next time I'm going to try and hit the Olympus Colosseum again because as this Moogle is hinting there's a big tournament being held. Uh, where else would a big tournament be held but Olympus Colosseum. And then after that we're going to visit the new Disney World and tackle another one of those villains from Legion of Doom. But until next time, see ya!